Welcome to this online mindfulness training. Now this training has been specifically designed for you, whether you're new to the field of coaching and mindfulness, or whether you actually experience the mindfulness and how you can utilize it within your coaching practice. Now we know as a good coach, it's really important to be an active listener. The thing is though, sometimes when we coach, our mind may, might get caught up in a spiral. The spiral of, you know, the internal dialogue that says, Oh, I know what to do. I've got a solution to your problem. Or, what should I be doing for dinner this evening? And so sometimes the coach might not be totally within the moment with the client. And of course, we can't ask powerful questions if we don't practice active listening in the first place. So mindfulness is a, is a wonderful tool to become more aware, more in the moment, that's going to help us to pay better attention to our client, become more aware of what is going on for our client, and of course skills that we can teach our clients so that they don't get caught up in their example, the, the, the critic, you know, that internal voice that beats us up. Now as it's an online training, of course, you can go through this program as quickly or as slowly as you want. What I would suggest though, with your permission, is to take each section week by week. So go through the weekly session and then do all the exercises and the home practice for that week. During this training, we're going to do a deep dive each week into a specific element within mindfulness. And you're going to get a great understanding for how to use each of those techniques. Now I say that the training is uh, mindfulness for coaches. However, it's actually mindfulness for every single one of us, whether that's in our personal life or within our professional lives, whether it's as a manager, whether it's as a salesperson, whether it is as a coach or a doctor or a psychologist, whether it's as a teacher, the skills and the techniques that you're going to learn during this training will send you in great stead to be able to become more aware within yourself, as well as to be very mindful and how you deal with other people and of course some skills and techniques that you'll be able to show and teach your client so that they can become more mindful. Now there's also a number of poems, there's some appendices that you can read, there's a number of additional uh, resources that I've added within this training for you. They give you a deeper and a more thorough understanding of mindfulness of course, depending on how deep you really would like to dive. You're going to learn how to use mindfulness uh, within yourself as well as with your coaching practice. You're going to learn to understand how judgment and self-talk and the ego can get in the way, both for ourselves as with our clients. You'll learn how to not become overly attached to outcomes. Uh, which sounds quite strange, doesn't it? You know, we talk about coaching and getting the client to go to where they want to be. But how to not become too attached to outcomes. And of course, not become too attached to our own opinions. Remembering that the session always belongs to the client. And, and we hold that space for the client mindfully and non-judgmentally. And so we'll also be looking at the cycle of our thoughts and our emotions and our behavior and how each of these actually affect and work on each other. And of course, how that then affects our client within the wider environment. Now we say it's important to hold the session for the client, be non-judgmental. That also means not judging ourselves. If maybe, you know, you think that wasn't the greatest coaching session. Maybe I could have done a little bit better. Maybe I could have done a little bit more. Maybe I could have helped that client in a different way. Of course, remembering that we are all just doing the best that we can with the resources that we have available. Now, you've got a full color workbook that you can download as well. And remember, it's your workbook. So go ahead, make notes, do mind maps, color it in if you want, use markers. It's your notebook. Use it to the full extent that you feel comfortable with. Go ahead and if you choose to do so, journal and really make notes about your experience as you go through this process as well. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this training and get the most out of it that you can. Thank you so much. Have fun and enjoy the training.